Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the month of February. I just want to get my Februarys out, then we're going to go back to the weeklies. So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February? This could happen at any time in February. What do we have for Aries? The Lovers! So this is a choice. It's a choice in love. You're going to be making a choice. Choice between two paths. Choice between two people. Um, this is a strong connection. A strong um, familiarity. I feel like you're, you, you're going to... Uh, if you're already in a relationship, things may, could be stepping it up to the next level. If you are single, you could be meeting somebody very suddenly, or you could just be falling in love. So this is definitely a choice in love. So yeah, you got a choice in love this month. This is a, a spiritual connection of some sort. Okay, so you're, and that is always a choice with the lover's card. So you're going to be making some sort of choice. Um, Deepening a bond, perhaps. What do we have for Aries? There we go. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. Height, vacation. You may be going on a vacation. Either way, there's going to be a change of a lot, a chain of a chain of events that affect your life. And maybe if you go on vacation, maybe you meet somebody unexpectedly. Who knows? Somebody be, could be coming to your area on a vacation. I'm not sure what is happening. You may be taking a vacation, but anyhow, the lovers card is about a union. Um, it's a perfect match. A love connection so you you're this is developing a strong deep love connection okay or coming together this could be a reunion as well something is happening that leads you towards this union or deepens this bond whatever it is oh we're gonna take it we got to Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you may be dealing with some financial issues that are impacting you. My advice is to not worry about that. Focus on love. Focus on love. Everything happens for a reason. Because that lover's card is the first card out. That is, that is a perfect union. It's a major choice. It's a healing love. There's a... Uh, Aligning with somebody that you have a lot in common with. What do we have for Aries? Seven Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Now this is about investment, but it's short-lived success. So I think that you may have invested in something and now it's time to go someplace else. It's time to plant your seeds or some seeds that you planted a long time ago are coming to fruition. This is a need to let your guard down. You may be feeling uh, defeated or, um, I don't know, sometimes with this one you may feel like you're under attack or you may feel like you have to put your guard up. I've, uh, seven of pentacles or seven of wands reversed is, 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 can be quitting something, giving something up. Now this is the, the, the lovers is a choice between two. It always is because a choice means there's a choice. And when there's a choice, there's always two options or more. So you have a choice to make, but this seven of wands would indicate in reverse that, there, that you may have to let go of something, you know, may have to let your guard down. You know, you're indecisive. You may be feeling criticized or judged for your choice. You're definitely going to be making a choice. You're feeling, you may be feeling overwhelmed with the choice that you have to make. Uh, seven of pentacles in the past, that is, you know, investment. I think you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, here it's time. Okay. It's time. It's time for something. 
four of pentacles reverse now that is about letting go for happiness because you, this is letting go of something you've been holding on to for extreme happiness. This is seeing the light. This is a yes answer. This is a breakthrough. This is a new beginning. It's a new day. It's it's a it's a warm place. It's it's uh, love, right? The sun is a card of love. It's yes. It's a yes answer. So this is being accepted. This is, this is being accepted by whoever this person is. You're going to be connecting with somebody that will accept you. All you have to do is open up. Relax. Don't fight it. This is don't fight it. Don't fight it. Relax. You've been waiting for this. Just, just open yourself up to this opportunity. I feel like you have an opportunity here that could be perfect for you. It could, it could help you. And this is a healing energy, okay? It is. This is a healing love and this is a healing energy. So I feel like you have a healing love here. Somebody that can help you. This person um, can help you to open up. Maybe you're distrustful. Maybe you don't trust. Maybe you've been abandoned or you've been criticized or misjudged by another person. And, you know, now you got somebody else that sees you in a different light and you need to accept that, you know, you need to let go of the one that you had to defend yourself to constantly to choose this other option. Something like that. You definitely um, have been investing in a dead end. Because I consider the seven, seven of Pentacles a dead end. You know, it's time to go someplace else. And I feel like you've had a hard time going someplace else. Because it would require letting something go. Now, this doesn't, if it's not about love, it could have to do with money or a relationship. Somebody may have been holding on to a partnership for financial reasons, you know. But I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's time for you to be happy. This is what the universe wants. The universe wants you to be free. They want you to be happy. They want you to be accepted. You should be able to be yourself. Okay, so this is a life-giving energy where, you know, this is this is a breakthrough of some sort. So you you definitely have a new opportunity here that could make you extremely extremely happy. But I see you wanting to fight it. You know, there's 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 fighting it, struggling, struggling to accept to to see something. Now this is gaining clarity, coming out of a dark place. But the five of wands is competition. It's fighting. It's playing games. It's petty behavior it's you need to uh let your guard down for sure i feel like you have your guard up i feel like you've you've been uh going back and forth it's kind of you've been there's been some sort of power struggle with whoever some people that you've been playing with or people that you've been engaged with i don't it could even be your family i feel like you've been dealing with some uh People that have been, I don't know, it feel, almost like you've been feeling attacked or overwhelmed by other people. people. There's a lot of people in your energy that are draining you. And I feel like you need to remove yourself from these people. You need to let these people go. You, you deserve to be loved. And I feel like there's love here. I feel like you need to choose, you know, one person over all these other people. There's other people here that are impacting your health and they're impacting your happiness. There's one person here who uh, you have a lot in common with that, um, I don't know, maybe this was somebody from the past. I don't know if it is or not. It could be. Um, something about the number 14. I don't know where 14 comes from, but I just added these sevens and it equals 14. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, you have an opportunity to... Let your guard down and be happy and be yourself instead of playing with these people who um, I don't know. I think these people are causing you problems. Who are these people? Yeah, Ten of Swords, Eight of Trapped, Mental. You know, sometimes you you deal with people who give you poor advice. You know that you may have received some poor advice from somebody. I feel like you've been you've been in some sort of state of mental turmoil. You've been suffering. Um, you know, misery loves company. So you may have been dealing with some miserable people that have been totally draining you, totally, totally, totally draining you. 
I feel like you um, are going to be removing an obstacle this month. I think the obstacle is probably fear, fear of the unknown. Uh, I think that you've been going back and forth in regards to, you know, if I go down this path that has been presented to me, will I be accepted? Yes, you will be accepted. I feel like you've, you've suffered long enough. I feel like uh, you've played a lot of games. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of battles. And I think it's this is the end of the battle, okay? This is the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight, you know, but you have to choose. This is the, the lovers is a card of choice and consequences. You have to choose to end the battle. Okay, I want happiness. I'm letting go. I'm definitely letting go. So I feel like you know this month you are going to be stepping down, quitting. It's like I'm. I quit. I quit. I quit. I, I'm removing myself from this situation. It's not comfortable anymore. You know, it's a dead end. There's nothing left here. I feel like you are definitely, you're, you could be even relocating. Because to me, the Seven of Pentacles is a relocation. It's just removing an obstacle of fear. I, there's definitely been some lies. There's been some uh, pain, significant pain. And I think feel like you've reached the end. I, I feel like you've reached the end of this cycle in your life. It's like, you know what? I just want happiness. I want light. I want peace. So I, I, I can't stay in this I can't be confined to this situation anymore. I can't I can't keep fighting. I can't keep, you know, having to defend myself. This is it's time. It's time to relax. It's time to, you know, just be free. And I feel like you're you're headed towards a much more aligned union where, you know, there won't be the pain that you have endured from this I think it's some obviously somebody that you've been with in the past. Um Ten of Swords is the end of things. Okay, it is. It is a could even be a mental or physical collapse. It's the death of a situation. Okay, this is goodbye. It is goodbye. I'm breaking free. This is goodbye. This is breaking free, and this is freedom as well. So somebody is breaking free from a dark place, and they're headed towards the, something light, something beautiful. This is letting go of emptiness, letting go of the pain. This is a healing love. So you you could be definitely falling in love or connecting with somebody that, you know, you are meant to be with this month. Two of Wands, spur of the moment decision. You're going to be at that crossroads. You're going to be at that, that uh, it's like you're at the end of the road. Okay, you've reached the end of the road and you have to make a choice. You, you got to make, you're at that crossroads. You got, you, you can either go back or you can go forward. What are you going to do? So you are definitely going to be presented with a choice. You have two paths. You're going to be presented with two paths. You can you can go back, or you can you can you can head towards the light. You can head towards the beautiful new beginning. You can head towards the connection that you are more aligned with, or you can stay trapped in the situation that you have been mulling over and thinking about that has caused you so much pain. So I I feel like this this month you're going to be. Um, You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a very, it's a major choice. It will require you to let go of something that has been, maybe it was financially comfortable. You know, maybe it was just financially comfortable, but there wasn't any love there. There wasn't. And I think that you have an opportunity for love. We have the end of a battle, breaking free, going down a new path, running into something. You're running into something. You're going to run right into something. Very suddenly. High Priestess reversed. Now this is... Uh, 
lack of knowledge. You may be you may be choosing to go your own way. This is lack of awareness, not following your intuition. Secrets being revealed. Somebody's been ignoring their intuition. There's and you know when you head down this path, I feel like you're going to see something that you have ignored. You may have been ignoring something and you're going to, it's like, boom, this is like an awakening of some sort. It's some sort of enlightenment. I think you're going to go down a path. You're going to run into something that sparks some sort of memory or something like that. You're, something is going to be seen. You have another option here. You definitely do. This is the moment of decision. You're gonna be. This is like a split second decision. You're gonna be faced with making a split second decision, and you're gonna need to listen. Listen to your gut. You're gonna see something that helps you to make this decision. That's what it is. You're totally unaware. You're not gonna be aware when there's no prediction of time because it's gonna happen at exactly the right time. You can't guess what this is. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now the Four of Pentacles reversed is about stability. It's about holding on to something. I think that you have been treated unfairly by somebody because with the six of pentacles reversed up there you've been treated unfairly you 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 uh maybe you've been rejected or you're there's fear of rejection or something like that you gotta let go of your fears this new person isn't going to reject you you are not going to be rejected this is an acceptance this is a yes answer you will be accepted this is meant to be hold on to this opportunity do not let it go say goodbye to the people that have been causing you pain that you have been struggling with. You don't need to play games. You don't need to compete. Listen to yourself. Okay, listen to yourself and yourself only as well because I feel like you have some people around you that have given you some poor advice. Do not listen to them. And it, it could be even... Tarot readers, okay, with the High Priestess reverse, good tarot readers, mediums, psychics, you know, people that, you know, I feel like there's somebody that has been giving you poor advice and you need to listen to your own gut. If you want to go down another path, go. Do not let somebody hold you back because they're miserable, because they want to keep you trapped. Even if you've invested so much in them, if it's not love, if it's not emotionally fulfilling, go down the new path. If there's no reciprocation, we have the Six of Pentacles and reversed up there. There's been a lack of reciprocation. You know, so I feel like, you know, if you're not getting reciprocate, re reciprocation or if you're not being treated with respect, you know, and whoever you're dealing with has a lot of competition, is that love? Or if this person makes you walk on eggshells or you're always having to defend yourself, to hell with that shit. You have a beautiful, bright opportunity here for with somebody that you are very much aligned with. You're going to be given the opportunity to unite with this person. But will you go down that path? The choice will be yours. You will have to make, because that's what the two of wands is. The choice will be yours. You can choose to go back to the confinement. You can go choose to go back to the restrictions. You can go back to the mental prison. Or, or you can break free and go down that new path. So, good luck. 